Grayson is all smiles on the long bus ride back home. His basketball team just demolished their rivals, the Southtown Seagulls, and Grayson had made it a point to embarrass them. He taunted the other team's players, coaches, and home crowd, but he saved his cruelest harassment for their mascot, Sully the Seagull. Every time he got close to Sully, he would accidentally knock him over. Then, he would reach out as if he was going to help him up before shoving him back down and laughing. But instead of getting angry or fighting back, Sully would just stare at him with his big, lifeless eyes. Dumb mascot. On the bus, Grayson slouches in his seat and starts to doze off like the rest of his teammates when he's startled awake by a balled up piece of paper hitting him in the head. He calls out, asking who threw it, but is shushed by the other players trying to sleep. Frustrated, he unwraps the piece of paper. It says, you won't be laughing anymore. Grayson heads to the back of the bus to find out who is messing with him. As he approaches the last row, he sees a pair of eyes, way too big to be human, reflecting in the darkness. He can almost make out who or what it is when, hey, the bus driver yells at him to get back in his seat. When Grayson turns back around, the eyes are gone. Reluctantly, he heads to his seat. His sleepy teammates give him dirty looks as he passes, mad that he woke them up. Back in his seat, Grayson tells himself that the eyes were just a trick of the light or a reflection or something. And the message on the paper was just a teammate's prank. With that thought, he starts falling asleep. When another paper ball hits him, he gets up on his seat and yells, but is met by a chorus of teammates telling him to be quiet. Fuming, Grayson unravels the paper. This time it says, look in your bag. Ha, ha, ha. With trembling fingers, Grayson opens up his duffel bag to find his sneakers and jersey ripped to shreds. Grayson seethes with fury and sneaks to the back of the bus to find out who did this. There, in the last row, Grayson again sees those two big, reflective eyes. He gets closer and closer and realizes exactly who has been terrorizing him. It's Sully, the seagull. Grayson's jaw drops and he demands to know what the rival mascot is doing on his team's bus. But Sully just stares at him with his big, empty eyes. Grayson is red with fury and starts threatening it. But the mascot still says nothing. Grayson has had enough. It's time to see who is underneath the costume. He grabs the mascot's head and with a yank, pulls it off. But there is nothing underneath. Grayson stumbles to the ground in horror. The headless mascot gets up and reaches a hand out to Grayson, who is on the verge of tears. He tries to get up and run, but Sully just shoves him back down. Sully offers again to help Grayson up, but when he tries to get up, Sully pushes him down. He hears one of his teammates shout, Hey look, Grayson is crying! And everyone starts laughing at him. He begs his teammates to help him, but they just point and laugh as Sully pushes him down, again and again. Suddenly, Grayson wakes up, back in his bus seat, with the rest of the bus sleeping soundly. It was all a dream? He smiles in relief, but that smile disappears when he looks down and sees a crumpled up note on his lap. He opens it, be a good sport, or else. He turns and looks to the back of the bus, just in time to see a pair of giant eyes back into the darkness. After that bus ride, Grayson starts showing much better sportsmanship on the court. No matter how bad the other team is, he always treats them with respect. And he never, never makes fun of the mascot.